Hello, this is Callista, also known as Magical Girl Me. I am getting married this month. Uh, because my wedding is coming up, I've been thinking a lot about love and in relation to Lolita fashion. And this video will be my experiences with dating and Lolita fashion. My story begins when I discovered Lolita Fashion in 2007. Um, since I was at college, it was the first time I was able to really break out of my shell uh, socially and also experiment with fashion. Um, I really didn't get a chance to wear what I really wanted to before then, so I started to look at different fashions and I found Lolita. When I found Lolita Fashion, um, that really spoke to me as a style and I absolutely loved it and I couldn't wait to start in the fashion. Due to financial reasons as well as um, a lot of reservations, I used to be really terrible about change and I didn't want to put a lot of money and time into something that I wasn't sure would work for me. So I went ahead and um, got elements of Lolita Fashion but didn't fully dive into Lolita until later. Common items that I would use to weave into my current fashion at the time was like headdresses and over the knee socks and things like that, um, just to kind of add elements of this fashion into my everyday wardrobe. Due to the obscure nature of Lolita fashion, I had some very interesting reactions from potential mates. I am not going to use anyone's name in this video. I am going to kind of make um, stereotypes for everyone um, that I had experiences with and some people fall into, um, multiple people fall in a couple categories. Uh, the only person I would refer to um, that you could figure out would be my fiance. Let's get started. The what are you wearing skeptic? Ah uh, yes. The over the top, what are you wearing question. This person has a very hard time grasping the concept of your fashion, even though you've explained it multiple times. This person was absolutely horrified that I would wear over the knee socks out in public. This person was interested in being my um, boyfriend or girlfriend, but uh, they had stipulations. This person would completely avoid me in public settings in the alternate fashion and would not attend anything associated with the street fashion. To say that this person was embarrassed by my choice of fashion would be an understatement. So to combat this um, sort of strange reaction to my street fashion, this is what I did. I introduced the fashion and gave them the history of it and what makes Lolita fashion Lolita fashion. I tolerated most of the disapproving expressions and didn't ask that person to attend meets where, or events that I would be dressed up in Lolita fashion. When the education of the street fashion and how it made me feel didn't work, I stopped tolerating those annoyed glances and I just distanced myself from this person romantically. I didn't want to be involved with someone who couldn't support me in something that makes me really happy and helps me to express myself. The better than Victoria's Secret type. This person was a little too interested in my street fashion. They didn't want to necessarily know the history of the fashion or were interested in wearing this style themselves, but they really, really liked when I would wear Lolita fashion. This person basically saw Lolita fashion as a kink or a fetish. That's completely fine if you happen to be interested in Lolita fashion and also have kinks and fetishes that fit within Lolita, absolutely. But it needs to be consensual on both partners. I do not wear Lolita fashion for any reason other than it makes me really happy and gives me empowerment. Uh, and this person could not seem to understand that I didn't wear the fashion for them. I wasn't interested in co incorporating Lolita fashion in that way, so it was not a compatible match. The understanding that I wear this fashion because it makes me happy was completely lost on this person. This relationship only lasted a few days at most. I am very modest when it comes to um, displaying public forms of affection. 
This is something that I explained very clearly with this person and stated many times so that they would understand that's not for me. It was really nice to have someone who was open and interested in my fashion at first. Oftentimes this person would say how much they loved that I wear this style for them and they were so happy with it and they couldn't wait till we really dove into other things. I don't wear this fashion for anyone but me. After these statements and not respecting my boundaries, I simply completely shut down the relationship there. The why would you wear that type? Yes, you heard me. This person cannot believe that you would actually wear this fashion and wear it out in public. Common remarks were, it's childish, it isn't flattering, it's expensive, and the biggest, what will people think? Instead of bracing my enthusiasm for this hobby, uh, this person would do what they could to undermine that feeling and try to have me quit Louisa fashion. I could understand if you were concerned about someone's safety, um, like where and when they're wearing the style, but this was never brought up as a reason. Basically, it came down to who the heck was this person to tell me, a grown woman, what I could and could not wear. After all, Lolita fashion is about self-expression. Again, since uh, this type of person couldn't understand that I wore this style for me and it made me happy, I simply moved on. My soulmate. My fiance um, has been very supportive of this hobby and she always has been. Um, when we met in college, I was just starting to get interested in wearing the style and she's been supportive even when we were just friends um, and I really appreciated that she was enthusiastic that I was enthusiastic about something. Uh, she really appreciates that it's so creative and fun and different and that it makes me really really happy. My fiance will also um, show an interest in it so I, I am sure she can tell you the name of three brands, no problem, off the top of her head, and what certain um, words mean. Um, it's really fun that she's even taken that time to ask me about the fashion and help me get dressed and then use that terminology with me. Um, she has always been very supportive of me and if I were to change and adapt things like changing up my wardrobe or trying something new. But even if I decided I no longer wanted to participate in the fashion, she would support me in that choice because when it comes down to it, she loves me and she wants me to be happy. I wanted someone who supported me in my interests, was open to having me grow as a person and change, someone who supported me and had enthusiasm for something that made me so happy. I looked for someone who would empower me instead of tear me down and someone that takes the time to listen and understand me. And that's the conclusion of story time. What do you look for in a potential partner? How do those elements that you stated relate to Lolita fashion? What relationship stories and experiences have you had in alternative fashion? I would love to hear your stories. Thank you so much and stay frilly.